I've never done a video about repair costs, so yeah, here's one. I, I, people are complaining about it, so I want to do a video about it. But just before we get into the video itself, you, ha you have to remember that nothing is for free. Just because War Thunder is a free game, advertises itself to be free, it is not actually free. It will, it will cost you something. Just like everything that is online, uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's not free. You guys are watching this video, therefore I get to keep, uh, well, life. I don't have to starve, so you're paying me by your views, so you see. It will cost you a little bit of your sanity, uh, well, it will cost you all of these. A little bit of your sanity, a lot of your time, it will make you great friends. That, that's that's the positive stuff. Like, if, if you try to socialize and go to squadrons, and uh, yeah, you're going to make great friends but other than that yeah nothing is really good about war thunder at the moment i uh, that's my personal opinion a lot of guys feel different about it but there are a lot of broken things in war thunder since its beginning that they used to just glance off of i i, I knew that back in the day like we had the major 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 issue of repair call uh, not to repair costs the rp gains the rp gains we used to be limited dude like watch orange doom his old videos he talks a lot about this he talks a ton about this and you'd literally go in get five kills get three thousand rp three thousand four thousand rp with premium by the way so yeah but back to the topic of the silver lions and the gains and the costs so when guys nerf something they nerf it completely like, they don't just nerf the SL cost of a plane or, like, the repair cost of a tank, a plane, a ship, whatever. They kind of give you what you want, but at the same time, they get what they want. In the sense that they, yes, they help you with the repair cost and they nerf them and they become better and you see, like, your favorite plane or tank or whatever it becomes cheaper to play but at the same time they they nerf the the modifier the sl modifier that it gets so realistically speaking if you do the the, the calculations if, if you're into calculations just do the calculations and leave them in the comments down below because everything is still on uh, on the updates and everything like you can go back and see the changes and you can do them yourself like you can do the calculations across the years but yeah you're not going to make any money because war thunder is built that way you have to remember like war thunder's way of in giving you that incentive to play the game is literally repair costs and the hope that you get, I don't know, your top tier, your favorite top tier jet, I don't know what it is. Like, it could be F-14 or Mirage or whatever. A lot of people are into tanks. I personally don't understand tanks. I'm, 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 I'm a noob in tanks. Like, a, lot of people, a lot of other content creators do that better than me. But yeah, that's that's the hope. No, I don't want to make it longer. It's still broken. You cannot do anything about it because when Gaijin wants to do something, they do something. And you wouldn't even know about it. As an example, right now, the bombs have been nerfed. I used to drop a 250 kilogram bomb next to a tank. That tank would blow up. Now I drop a 250 kilogram bomb next to a tank and that tank loses its tracks and its barrel. So, a lot of people don't know about that. Really, a lot and a lot of people don't know about that. And that's just to say that it's not just the repair costs. It's the whole entire system that is broken. Now, here's the thing, you can complain all you want or you can choose a different game. Just be careful, not be careful, keep in mind when choosing another game is not going to be as accessible or as free as War Thunder. You, you cannot just go to a game literally with a keyboard and mouse or a controller or whatever you're playing on and just play all these different types of vehicles whether they're aerial, uh, like they're ground vehicles or they naval vehicles. You have to keep in mind that. And that's the leverage that War Thunder has over the, anything else. No, like, seriously. I don't think that there is a game that can compete with War Thunder and what War Thunder brings. So it is what it is. It's it's Plus, Gaijin is a company. You guys know that. They will make money. They need to make money. Because all those new vehicles that you request and all those bug fixes and stuff, they don't happen on their own. They don't just magically happen. Happen. I forgot how to speak English. So, it's kind of... 
I don't know, dude. It's 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 terrible. I know a lot of people are suffering b because of this silver lion mechanic, but I, I'm also have I also have to say that the community is a part of this too. Like there are a good number of players in War Thunder that don't know how to play the game. They just really don't. And you have to understand that War Thunder is like has a mixed demographic of uh, of of age and 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 mentalities and and yeah like uh, as an example a, a a player from the western world would be more likely to spend silver lions on uh, or to spend money on the game than a guy from i don't know southeast asia or north africa like me so you, you have to understand that it's completely different different mentalities and th those guys that don't want to pay for the game and those who are willing to invest in the game in, in terms of time and they want to learn and stuff they they usually tend to get a little bit more out of it whereas the player that just buys a premium and they grind an entire tree with it as soon as they uh, as soon as they encounter one thing that they don't like they're quitting the game so no, I'm not. I'm not saying that those people are bad or anything. I'm just saying it is what it is. So what can you do? It's 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 a two part problem. One part is the community. One part is Gaijin. And what what are you going to do to change this? Because Gaijin will do whatever they want, however they want, whenever they want. Then you cannot change their minds. They're a company. It's a lot of different issues combined into one giant issue that is masked by little problems. That's what War Thunder is. I was discussing these types of issues with a uh, friend of mine, uh, Phoenix. It, he's he's really into like solving problems. Like that's how uh, how he operates in life. Like he he likes solving problems and all that. And he's really 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 interested in War Thunder. What he said is 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 amazing. Actually, he said to me that uh, about War Thunder that when it's good, it's great, and when it's bad, it's awful, and that literally summarizes the entire uh, experience of of War Thunder. Because here's the thing: at, at the end of the day, War Thunder is a game where good players look bad and bad players look good, and that's also said by him. And if you think about it, yeah. Compared to other games, like everybody, I, I don't know, man. Everybody that's watching this video, they they have at least played some type of competitive game like Valorant, uh, CS:GO, League, whatever, and they know if the good player in there, they stay good. They they don't look bad. Whereas War Thunder is completely different, and you have to remember that. And guys, and will react to whatever the community does and whatever the community says and whatever drives the community to pay more i i stress this enough they're they're a business and good for them they created a hell of a business i support it but nothing like i said at the beginning of this video nothing is absolutely for free so you guys keep that in mind that's that's my two cents on the issue <laughs> you guys tell me what you think in the comments uh, i love to hear the point of view of the community really the truthful point of view like please like give me a solid point of view in the comments down below